previously in our Outbacks, you were able to adjust some eyesight settings, which were typically located in a menu that you could adjust between the topometer and speedometer. They also had some buttons that were either located up top or down by uh, the driver's left knee. Now notice those buttons are no longer there, so we have to go into our system to be able to adjust them. There's a few spots to do that. Uh, notice there's reverse braking, eyesight monitor, driver monitoring system, keyless entry if you want to adjust how you enter into the vehicle or which doors unlock. Um, there's an auto door lock and unlock that you can change. Like let's say you want all the doors to lock, not just at vehicle speed, but when you shift in and out of park so that you can let people exit the vehicle. These are some settings that I think are really, really important to be able to change um, door and mirror settings. Notice there's auto vehicle hold, the auto start stop, blind spot detection. So a lot of these things are now located in the car tab of settings. You can also adjust a few quick ones if we go into car driving assistance and see pre-collision braking is located right here. I like to call this the car wash mode. So if you go into a car wash that pulls you through as opposed to a touchless car wash, you might want to turn off pre-collision braking because the car could be sensing any of the things that are in that car wash, whether it be a car in front of you, uh, it could be um, the paddles that are coming at the, the vehicle, uh, any of those things that are located outside of the vehicle, your eyesight cameras are scanning for, for objects detected. So we wanna make sure that you turn off the pre-collision braking in a car wash. 